at 10, so I pull in a can. Boy, Jazzy, Stacy, Nikki. All of the Barbies is pretty. Damn. All of the Barbies is bad. It girls. Hey, you guys. Welcome to my channel. It's Keeping Up With Kate. If you know what her name stands for, now you know. Today's video is going to be a week in the life of a nursing student. Let's get into it. Good morning, y'all. It's Monday. It's the first day back from spring break. I can't believe my spring break is over already. It did not feel like I'm really finna have to get up and go to school today. I'm tired, of course. I got so used to just staying up and going to bed when I want to. Like, I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it, Jesus. I can't believe it, Jesus. I can't what I'm thinking about the fact that I can't wear my clothes yet because I need to wash them. I would love to wear my comfy leggings. So go watch my try on haul, y'all. Two. What was that? What was two? Oh, I'm thinking about what I want to do with my hair next. Like, where oh I should go wet my hair all the time. Like, I don't know. It takes too much time to get ready. But yeah, I'm gonna see y'all at school. So y'all, the class I had today was Patho Farm. Um, we learned about hematology, but I came to class so unprepared, y'all. I think by the time I left class, my laptop was on 20%, y'all. I didn't charge my laptop over the break. I had an assignment that was due Sunday night, so yesterday, um, for my health and illness class. I forgot, like, with my health and illness class, we'll have to, like, read the book and um, look over the slides, and then we take, like, a short quiz, a 10-question quiz. But I think it's um, graded on completion, so if you do if you don't do well, that doesn't matter. But I forgot all about that, y'all. The whole break, I did not open Canvas not once. So, yeah. Right now, y'all, I'm just relaxing. So I'm going to get all my homework done after class and before work. This is more inefficient during periods of elimination. So we're going to talk about when you're going to have options yet. The first bowel movement in an infant is Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Um, so, today I've been experiencing paresis and I have a erythema. Is that how you say it? <laughs> My eyes, y'all. I took them lashes off. Okay, when I put them on, I had them on a couple hours and I wasn't having any problems. But then later when I was in my health and illness class, my eye started having paresis. Is that how you say it? And what's the word for swelling? Edema? I feel like it might be another word for swelling. But yeah, so I took them off, I washed my face. But my eyes still itch. So I'm gonna have to take some dive pin hydrobeam. <laughs> I'm trying to use my terms, y'all. But yeah, I'ma just leave I'ma just have to leave my eyes alone for a cool little minute because I don't know what's going on. Um this happened to me a few weeks ago. I put my lashes on, some strips on. In my eyes, I had like flaking. What's the word for flaking, y'all? We learned that? Probably. But yeah, I, my eyes were like flaky, like white and flaky. So, I don't know, y'all. And these are the same lashes I've been, I've been using these lashes. Um, I like first bought these like over a year ago. And I used, I've been using this type of lash glue too. So I opened a different, um, package i'm like maybe because i cut it open something i don't know something got in it but no so i don't know that's weird to me 
I never had a problem until now, and I've been using this stuff. I might get some lash extensions, but I'm scared to get those. I might all of a sudden be allergic to it. But um, today I have a check off, y'all. We're doing, for my skills lab, we're doing NG tubes. And we're doing specimen collections today. Um, I think I know it, but it's just the fact that we was on spring break last week. So we had learned this information two weeks ago. But I just got to make sure I don't forget nothing. So... Yeah, but I'm going to see y'all once I get to school. Hey, Google, what's the medical term for flaking? Here's something different. On the website WebMD.com, they say, there are many different conditions, diseases, or injuries that cause peeling skin or desquamation. Desquamation? We definitely do not learn that. I'm low-key finna ask my teacher to take a look at my eye because what should I do? I wonder, like, how often do people ask y'all for um, help advice? Might be a lot. check off we leave her early and then we and i don't have work till like 2 30 so yeah i look crazy right now y'all though my bags all right though why is this still on me what do i do this okay all right y'all i'm all done with my check off um he had my partner do the ng tube insertion and i did the urine um specimen collection from the foley catheter i should have did the ng tube insertion y'all i feel like even though that one has a million steps i feel like i knew that one better but yeah i made a few like minor mistakes but it's whatever um but when she's doing like the ng tube insertion i was giving her like you know verbalizing the steps or whatever while she was doing that but now I'm just gonna go home. Um, I'm gonna do some homework for my professional roles class and then I'm gonna take a nap. So yeah, I'm gonna see y'all Wednesday. Oh my God, y'all, can y'all see that rainbow? I haven't seen a rainbow in a minute. Whose baby is this? Y'all see him? I'm finna go get him, I swear. My mom will be mad, but I need to go get him. Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. Um, not Monday. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Y'all, the reason... I usually don't start these videos in the car. I just start in my room. I started in the car because... Y'all, why I woke up at 9.05? And my class started at 9 p.m. I forgot to turn my Wednesday alarm on once spring break was done with. So that's what ended up happening. But yeah, it's like 9.18 and I'm on the way to school. So I'm going to be real late. But the lecture is like two hours. So yeah, I'm not going to miss the whole entire lecture. But but uh, I was thinking like should I just stay home today but I'm like nah I'm not going to stay home because I don't want to miss points for this class like you get points for coming to lecture and I think you get another point for coming to the health assessment um, lab and then I have my professional roles class later so I want to get points for that too well unless it's a group activity if it's an individual activity, I wouldn't miss points for that so I'm just going to make sure what I'm not going to be like, you know, missing that whole lecture. But yeah, I will see y'all at school. 
it's 31 degrees like i feel like it's colder now that it's the end of march than it was in february like we had more warm days in february i feel like but yeah i'm gonna see y'all later at school all right here we go at 9 39. Two is if you have a patient and you still you, don't, you can't hear as well when they're sitting. I'm a mess today. I'm not making a li I'm not doing nothing correctly. Like I feel like I just need to go home, go to sleep, and try it again because I'm just so out of order. For my professional roles class, um, we've been talking about communication. This week, we're talking about therapeutic communication. Um, last week, she had us fold an origami shape. She didn't tell us what the shape was, and we just had to listen to her verbal directions without a visual, and she didn't repeat anything. Now, this week, we're folding the same shape again, but... Um, there's a video showing step by step what to do, so we have that visual, and then they tell us more than once like what to do. So I guess the purpose of the activity is to show how we all can get the same directions, but we all ended up with a different shape that first week. But this week, you know, the directions were a lot more detailed, and we had a visual, so we all ended up with the right shape. So yeah, I thought it was kind of fun and. I just like the pink heart, so yeah. Hey y'all, I just got out of my professional roles class. Um, that last activity, editing K, hopefully I remember to do like a voiceover, or, like the purpose of the activity, but it was a um, communication thing. We're talking about therapeutic communication this week. But um, for my health assessment class, this week we're doing cardiovascular um, system so with our head to toe assessment we just do we start with like interview questions ask them if they have any like swelling or shortness of breath do they have a family history of um, heart problems that type of thing if we like assess their body make sure they're they have good perfusion so their hands are like pinkish reddish color um yeah i just kind of like i always like i try to take notes and just write out what we're gonna be doing so here that is but when they were listening to my um they were listening to my heartbeat i didn't tell her that i have a heart murmur i just kind of just let them see if they hear anything and she's like everything sounds normal i'm like you didn't hear anything abnormal she's like no and then I told her, but um, we called my teacher over to listen as well. She was just like, she doesn't hear anything abnormal either. So I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah. Did you want a heart murmur? I'm like, no, but I've been like told that by multiple doctors. I've been told that when I was 12. I've been told that recently. So when I had my physical in November, they told me that too. So multiple physicians have told me that but I don't know like that's kind of make me think like what's <laughs> and she's been like a nurse for over 20 years so you know we trust her I feel like she know her stuff um but she did say like I have this thick hoodie on so it could be because of that my murmur could be just like really quiet I think she listened on the diaphragm side she didn't listen on the bell side as well so it could be that and like people were like talking so it wasn't like silent we do have quiet time she'll stay quiet time and you know, we all be quiet so we can listen to the heart sounds but yeah i don't know i was kind of listening to my heart myself so i didn't really hear anything either but a heart murmur 
remember it sounds like a swooshing blowing type of sound so it's something I would think would be easy to identify so yeah I'm gonna listen to it again yeah. <laughs> all right y'all I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow we're gonna be on zoom for clinical so yeah I was gonna go oh I, I was gonna go to Walmart but I'm I'm by the the ghetto Walmart I don't want to go there so I'm gonna just go tomorrow because I'm gonna go over my cousin's house we're gonna watch quiet on the set or quiet on set I think yeah it's just quiet on set I'm sure y'all heard about the Nickelodeon thing so yeah but yeah I'm gonna just do that tomorrow since I don't have to drive far to clinicals but you know I do want to like get experience with my patient you know what I mean like that actual face-to-face -face practice at the facility but yeah I'm talking too much I'll see y'all tomorrow you'll learn how to read a 24-hour clock as well as how to convert time between the 12 and 24-hour clock and how to Thursday. Um, last night I was up so late watching Love is Blind. I'm just now getting into that show. Um, I started with season six because I've been hearing people talk about it, so I'm like, let me watch this one. Um, I went to bed. I turned out. I think I turned the TV off at like 12:30. So yeah. But um, today for clinicals, we're on Zoom. My teacher, she went to um, she went out of she went out of town for spring break, and now this is our first week back. Now we on Zoom. My thing is, like, did she extend her vacation to two weeks? She said this one week not long enough. But yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sit in this chair because if I go to bed, I'm falling asleep. Sorry about the heater, y'all, oh, but it's too cold. But yeah, I'm gonna check in with y'all in a minute. I'm just gonna use my leg as an example because of the. I don't know what happened and why. Let me mute that. I don't know why my thing is in dark mode. I think it's just an automatic thing with Microsoft Word. But anyways. We've we did a is it going down? We did a case study and then we just had some questions to answer and then we like worked she put us in like breakout groups. <laughs> I haven't did that on Zoom in like forever. But yeah, we just worked together and went over our case study, so and now we're just waiting for her to I think she said we have an hour, so I might go get something to eat. Cause I, we're all done. the denominators. farm today but I just feel so out of it I'm tired my stomach is hurting like I'm stressed out 
Yeah, so it's going to be a day today. And I'm going to work, like, right after class. So, yeah. But, um, I'm going to see y'all in class. Also, y'all, I'm going to be late today. It's, like, 7.30 something. I was thinking about staying home, but I didn't want to miss no points. So, yeah, I'm going to just fight through it and go to school and work today. Hey, you guys. Um, I just got out of Patho Farm. Still talking about hematology. I didn't record nothing because um, it ain't nothing interesting going on. But yesterday, um, after clinicals, I was just so tired, y'all. I never, like, updated you guys. Um... As far as my teacher, she, my clinical instructor, she is going through it. Um, you know, she has a sick family member. She got hurt when she was on vacation. And she's dealing with a scammer. So, yeah, I don't want to tell people business, but, you know, I don't know. I just really feel, I really feel bad for her. Like, she just, you know, she can't catch a break type of thing. Like, it seems like it's a whole lot of stuff going on with her. And she's such a sweet lady. She told us about, like, people passed out. Somebody passed out, she's at a bar. She told us about, you know, she saw somebody got in an accident. She pulled over. She got a tourniquet. And she got a whole kit of, you know, healthcare products ready to, like, help people. So she's really, she's really sweet. So, yeah, I just feel bad for her, but I said a prayer for her. And also, I think one of my clinical partners or whatever you want to call it, somebody in my group, I think she, like, dropped out because she has, like, a serious health condition going on. So, yeah, it's just, like, a whole lot of, I don't know, y'all, it's just a whole lot of things that puts your life in perspective and I don't know it just makes you like appreciate the things that you do have but it's still like just sad and unfair that the people you know are going through these things if that makes sense but I have a whole lot of homework to do um I, I showed you guys me clips working on my ATI and uh, we had like six or so ATI assignments to do. Typically, a, one ATI assignment takes an hour. So six of them, like, yeah. So I worked on a lot of them yesterday. I think I'm down to one more to do. And then I have another thing to do for that class. I'm not sure what it even is. And then next week, next week, Tuesday, I have a paper to write, an APA paper. They're writing about leadership. Um, I don't have, I don't even have a document for that paper, so I haven't did anything. So, I guess I'm working on that over the weekend. Um, apparently we have a quiz, a exam Monday. Um, that class, I can, I never can keep up with that freaking class because it's just... I don't know. She, like, never, like, says in class what we got going on. Like, she won't say, like, hey, guys, exam coming up. Like, she doesn't remind us of stuff, so. And I just get distracted with all the other things going on. Um, I think that's, this is something about a case study. I don't know what that's about, so I'm going to have to look into that. But, yeah, I just have so many assignments to do. I'm super stressed out. I'm, I'm super tired, like. It's, it's a lot, but, you know, I'm on my way to McDonald's. I'm going to give me some food. I'm going to drink my smoothie. I love that mango pineapple smoothie. And I feel a little bit, I feel a lot better than I felt this morning. So, I will say that, but, yeah, I'm just trying to stay positive. Oh, this is such a good McDonald's. They move fast, and they got some nice, friendly workers. I'm always going to choose this one every time. And the other one, it made more sense to go to that one, but um, 
they didn't have my smoothie, so I'm like, I'm gonna just come to this one. And I know I'm gonna get some good service while I'm here. Okay, I got my egg McMuffin, my hash brown, and my mango pineapple smoothie. so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe i will see you guys in my next video if you're this far in the video comment a purple heart bye guys